every time I save a guy's number, really, he starts acting up. I'm telling you, really. Every time I save, <laughs> every, every time I save a guy's number, he literally starts acting up. I, I, I'm telling you, there's juju behind it. I promise you. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Ashley and today I'm here with Cindy okay. and Chizzy. I will put their names on the screen. I will put their links in the description box down below so you can click and you can follow and you can subscribe. But we're hungry. Yeah. We are doing a Chipotle mukbang. Yes, we are. It's my first one. So yeah. here's our food. We all got like bowls and salads and yeah. stuff. Yes. But I'm going to listen. Diving in? I mean, <laughs> no prayer. Amen. 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 So the first order of business is to let me know down below what you get when you go to Chipotle. Yes. I don't want to hear that you like free birds better because you can block me back. What that was an option. <laughs> oh, you know from Texas. <laughs> what, what's y'all's version of like Chipotle? Well, I know y'all have like, Chipotle. Yeah. Um, um, adobo? Adobo. No. No. Adobo. Qdoba. Qdoba. That thing. I think that's kind of like I've had Qdoba. Have you had it? No. Mm, or it's... Moe's. Moe's. Yeah. I've heard about Moe's. So it's like a burrito place? Like they make your burrito and stuff? Like I believe so. Okay. It's like three birds. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's what free birds is. It's, it's like a knockoff. So I'm from New York. I am not from Texas. Mm -hmm. I've actually never been in Texas in my life. So this is an interesting This is your first time? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. We can't even talk because we're so Girl, hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm trying to get these bites in. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So I had a little bit of in and out. So I'm kind of okay. Okay. But I'm so low hungry. I have watermelons every year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything to eat. Just water. Dang. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, Maybe wait. I should take a few bites before we start doing <laughs> I mean, I'm good now because I got like in my belly, you know, I got something. But whenever Ash is ready, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready. So what we're going to do. Is we're gonna do literally like not necessarily a Q and A, mm -hmm. but we're just gonna give you guys some advice. Mm -hmm. That's what like we're gonna that. do. We're gonna pick a question, a couple questions. I haven't really decided yet. We're gonna see what Cindy has in her repertoire. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> um. Okay. So there's lots of questions in here. What are you guys looking for, though? I want something juicy. Juicy. Let me scroll down and go to my archives. <laughs> His magic. You see? Wow. Yeah. I feel like this Chipotle tastes better than New York Chipotle. It <laughs> might. We're next to Mexico. Mm. Silence. I love this soda, y'all. I don't really like soda. Um, but I don't think this really counts. Yeah, it's really it's really sparkling good. water. Like oh, no. It's not sparkling water. <laughs> Is it sparkling water? Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. All right, Donald, check out this. <laughs> y'all got Chipotle. Oh, it's best it slaps. It slaps. <laughs> it slaps. It slaps. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? I say it's This whole is busting. Okay, if it's too long, I'll read it. Mm -hmm. Oh my. So, no. Oh no. This is long. No. I don't know what you're doing. Positive. Lie. Next question. Can be mindful of people reading because, like, y'all be sending books. Like, yeah. I don't mind. That? I don't mind. You want to read it? I can read fast. I mean, can you find? Is there anything else? There's plenty of questions in here. Okay. Damn, I'll this is all from. Yes, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh, this is hard. I don't feel like I can really answer this. Okay. Why? Cause the title. We could. We could have. Y'all could, but I my perspective is different. Well, I mean, I'm, as a black person too. Yeah. yeah no, I think you can yeah. also add to it. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. That's deep though. This is deep. It is, but that's deep. Yeah, I think mean, you you don't even want another question today, man. If you think that's deep, okay. <laughs> it's deep. Dang. Okay. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just wanted to bring this up to you. I'm bisexual and Nigerian. While mm -hmm. I am bisexual, I strongly prefer girls. So I'm assuming this is a girl. Okay. Wait, why are you assuming this is a girl? No. I oh, tell. I can't tell who this is. Okay. Oh, okay, she's a girl. Oh, okay. 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 Yes, I've had a few crushes on guys in the past, but I just see myself more attracted to girls. Mm. My mom is very Christian, and mm. she is very disapproving of the LGBT community. Mm. All my other LGBT friends have come out to their parents, and I feel very stuck. I'm scared she'll disown me or probably kick me out. I'm currently mm. a month away from being 16. Jesus. 
Okay. Whew. And I want to come out to her on my 16th birthday, but I keep having second thoughts. I mean, I am bisexual, so I could always just force myself to suppress my desire for girls and date men only. But what if my soulmate is a girl and I'm robbing myself of that? I moved out of Nigeria to the United States three years ago, um. so I don't have to worry about the societal consequences of Nigeria anymore. Sure. The problem is my family. So should I come she out? She's very them? intellectual. Mm -hmm. Extremely. So should I come out to my parents or just date men exclusively? Wow. That was a good question. That was, Ooh. wow. It was deep, but she worded that very well. Very well. Like details and everything. And it sounds like you have a deep and great understanding of yourself. Mm -hmm. And I feel like for you to even structure your question like that, you ultimately know what you want to do. Mm -hmm. you know, like you know deep down, but you know when you need opinions from other people, so we'll mm -hmm. give it to you. My thing is, you know what you want to do, but because you're so self-aware, you also know like the potential consequences mm -hmm. yes. of what you do and how, yes, this is your sexuality and this is what you're struggling with, but I'm going to personally say I wouldn't say anything until I was out. I agree. I'm until I was not reliant on anyone to like fund my lifestyle yeah that's when you that's when i feel that it's safe mm -hmm. to drop those kind of bombs because yeah you could be disowned after that but at least your rent will be paid at least your car will be taken care of at least your education will be taken care of at least you know at least life is still going to go on as normal and as usual is it hard to hide parts of your identity and parts of yourself like that Yes, and obviously you've been dealing with that for a while now. I I just don't feel like it's safe for you to say anything right now. I agree. I can't even lie. I think yeah. that as Nigerians, we have, um, I don't know, our parents, they were raised different. I think that's one thing that I think we kind of don't give them a little slack for like we think oh now that we're in america they should know that this is acceptable they should know that this is you know fine but we have to understand that they were raised completely different than us so what is the norm in their head is not the norm here having said that while i don't think you should tell your parents just yet just yet because unfortunately it shouldn't be a case of you having to hide that anyway it shouldn't be that way mm -hmm. but being that you know your parents being that you know your mom and how she will react i think it's you shouldn't say anything just yet but i don't think that should make you suppress your feelings yes. you know what i mean um you shouldn't force yourself to be with anyone just because you're afraid of how any, any other people will um react to it you don't owe anyone anything like you only owe yourself mm -hmm. so i feel like um while you know you shouldn't tell your mom just yet um just be it's true okay to yourself to, yeah and it's okay to explore like, yeah that's fine you're 16 mm -hmm. like if you feel like you're having some inclinations explore that safely though safely. of course please mm -hmm. and be careful don't get caught yeah <laughs> yeah but um the worst thing in the world is having to hide something about yourself like that is from people you love that is yeah and from people you love mm -hmm. um but one thing that we will say just because i'm nigerian as well whoop, whoop. but like even though even though it's cool to be nigerian there are definitely parts of the culture that are just like mm -hmm. not so cool mm -hmm. which is just how close-minded they can be to certain things like being gay or bisexual so you know your parents best and damn i lost my train of thought <laughs> it was right there and then it went mm. no okay i got it um you need to also be okay with the idea when you do finally come out to them you have to be okay with whatever happens like yes, they you, may yeah. disown you they may never talk to you again they, you, you know you or they build may yourself up to that though because yeah, i, you I need know to. i know personally people that are going through this exact situation mm. yeah the whole point of what i'm saying is that knowing those type of recovery uh, repercussions that could possibly happen you need to be in a place where if the worst to worst happens you'll still be okay yeah. so like ashley was saying you live on your own or something so that you're not dependent too much on them mm -hmm. and whatever the consequences could be so good luck to you girl it sounds like you got a good head on your shoulders though mm -hmm. so you'll figure yourself out be continues to be great and because i'm black i'm not necessarily like african i'm african-american very similar though we adopted you 
Honorary. Oh, what's her name? I feel like she looks like a Nigga, did I give you a name? No, not yet, but Oh, yeah. yeah, my bad. <laughs> um, I think I can still relate in terms of coming from like the Christian background. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, being raised differently is one thing, but I feel like we all have like that similarity if we were raised by like super Christian mm -hmm. parents who like really follow the book and mm -hmm. they really like to follow the rules and they believe what they believe and they have like this unshakable faith. Mm -hmm. So my uh, most important piece of advice to you is um without revealing this part of yourself mm -hmm. just see because i don't know how it works for nigerian parents but see if your mom will let you go to therapy that's gonna be a good place to go because you're gonna need to to really start now when it comes to processing um see if it's covered on your insurance you can and start if it with is, a school counselor too if it is but Make sure that this is someone you can really trust. Really trust. Yeah, they have confidentiality and they can't say what it is that you are talking about unless you're talking about self-harm um, or harming others. Mm -hmm. But you really need a really good therapist that is going to help you process and help you unpack all of these feelings so that when you do get the point, get to the point where you tell your parents you've already gone to therapy and you've already done the mental and the inner work to deal with whatever comes from that. All right. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. It was deep, but it was a good one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> well, to lighten up the mood, you guys, Yesterday, Chizzy made me an honorary Nigerian. Yes, I did. I am Ebo. <laughs> Look at yes, you. Yes, oh, yes, wow. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now we need to give her a name. So, yeah, now I need a name. I don't know. I'm thinking. You said Ijama, but like we, she, we know it. We I have an Ijama. Yeah, we have oh, so maybe an end name. And oh, no, or, or Chioma. Ijama. Chioma? Chioma? Chioma. Chioma? Mm hmm That's it. Good job. Look at you! I really try. Okay. Okay. If you so, want to be different, you could be Neka. You know what? No one has a name. I mean, people have a name. Yeah. yeah. Like, not a lot of people have a You could be a Neka. I, I see Neka. Do I look like a Neka? I could see that. Say it with more of a Neka. 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 That's yeah. it. Neka. Neka. That's it. Does it have two ends? It, it does. does. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's what I Neka. Yeah. N N E means good. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. What's going on? Nah. Nah means good. Or mom. Or mom. Yeah. We both. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what? So that <laughs> means? Greater than. Okay. You're a great mother. Is that the meaning though? No? Um, <laughs> she can be Ifama. 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 I want to marry you. So give me your love. Do you remember that song? What does that mean? Yes, I don't. Um, it means a good thing. Yeah, good things. There yeah. we go. There, there we, we go. go. All right, Ashley's name is Ifama or Ifi. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do another question? Yeah. Okay. Let's do another question. Mm. Okay. This is a mm. long, but it's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I read the title. We're gonna call her. Um, let's call her Abilene. 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 So Abilene left her toxic ass ex mm. of almost a year oh. after he stood her up for her birthday after an argument. Oh, a jerk. No really? Argument. Oh no. No. <laughs> Never in my life. I'm gonna watch? stop reading it in third person because that's difficult. <laughs> um. I started talking to this new guy not too long after. I've been talking to this guy for about four months. Things were good in the beginning until oh. there was some miscommunication mm. with me going out with a guy friend who was just my neighbor and not telling him because it was spontaneous and him feeling like I was kicking lane. Where are you from? <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> that sounds like. You know what, sis? The next part says, excuse my ATL lingo. Oh! <laughs> okay, so basically he felt like she was kicking lane and. Kicking lane. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <And so> he, <laughs> okay. Woo. He told her that he didn't really feel like he could trust her because he has trust issues. Whose fault is that? Continue, sorry. Personal, <laughs> but you know how men like to project. Ooh. <clears throat> he ended up blocking me on social media and went ghost for two weeks. Wow, whoa. <laughs> Wait, this is your boyfriend? 
Yes. No, no, no. It's the guy she was talking to for about four months. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the new guy. Boyfriend. Guy she's talking to. Come on now. I'm but, but essentially, like, I'm but almost four, her boyfriend. What? What? Four the months? Per, the person mm -hmm. she's in a situation with. Who? Situation shit. Bay. Okay, Bay. I'll give it that. So, what did my good sis do? Abilene made a fake Instagram to investigate. Hmm. How did so, you block her? The guy who she's been talking to for four months mm -hmm. had a girl at his house. And after confronting him, he said they were besties. So, you've been knowing this guy for four months and you never met his best friend? Okay. It gets better. Okay. We got back on good terms and we're okay until Valentine's Day. Mm. When he never said anything about going out or doing anything. Mm. I hopped right back on my Finsta and realized that the bestie was his girlfriend since high school. I called him that night and he finally told me the truth. He said he didn't know how to tell me because she honestly wasn't back in the picture until the neighbor situation. He told me he cared about me and how I was such an amazing person. He said he was sorry that he loved me, but my heart was crushed because I really liked him and he made it seem like he really liked me too. He honestly made me so happy to the point where I even told my mom about him. I was literally faithful to a guy with a girlfriend. We have a class together, so I see him all the time and we don't speak. How I know I can't be mad old enough to go to college, I suppose. College. Mm. She's 19. Okay. <clears throat> um, really bad situation. But mm. you make bad decisions when you're 19. Don't we? Oh my god. <laughs> I make some really bad decisions when I'm 19, so. I'm not doing this. I'm not even bad. I'm only getting okay now. I'm 23, so it's alright. Give yourself some time. I'm getting better. <laughs> okay, so she says, I know I can't be mad at the girl because she never did anything to me personally, but should I tell her what's been going on yep. so she can be aware and get tested because we had a whole lot of sex? You're so honest. <laughs> also, should I say something to him? And if so, what? I kind of want to tell him how he made me feel, but I doubt that he would care or that it would change anything. Thoughts. Number one, don't send these men paragraphs, period. Mm -mm. You don't care? Don't send these men, men paragraphs, themselves. period. Mm -mm. I have... I have a rebuttal for that, but I'm gonna tell it though. No, I'm the same way. I feel like don't tell men, like don't send them paragraphs. It's annoying, but at the same time, because I'm a serial, cut them off, don't even say anything. I find that like years later, I realize I'm not actually over the situation because I never allowed myself mm -hmm. to feel what I was feeling. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like we're trying to be strong and not you know give them the power but really you telling them your feelings is giving yourself power you're mm. allowing yourself to feel sometimes yeah. oh. mm. I'm this never is what i've learned in my 23 years of age for closure purposes i do understand it a little bit better yeah it's not for them it's for you he did ghost her though and block her so it's kind that's of that's even weird. more reason to tell him how you feel because you, 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 you don't think he knows he knows. He didn't know he was But what if she her? wants to get, he but she never got to, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying how she felt about being blocked. Like, she how never she told him. How was she supposed to feel? supposed to tell him I was so happy and elated that you blocked me? <laughs> no. Like, she's upset. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I'm sure he knows. But it's for her. It's not about him. It's for her. I don't know. I say, listen, if you want to tell him off, tell him off. That's okay. You have a God-given right to do so. But they have a class together. Do you think that's going to make it awkward? It's already awkward. It is already it's already awkward. awkward. Like, so just continue. Make it completely awkward. <laughs> like, I don't know. Do you think yeah. he's going to show the girl? The girlfriend. The girlfriend? Like, like if, if the girl goes, if you decide to go off on him, mm -hmm. do you think that he would show her... Like the girl from high school and be like, look, see, this is why I don't talk to her because she's crazy. Like I told you, she was crazy, and to use it to like prove his point. I mean, I don't know what the heck she's talking about. Though. Well, she's talking about going to the girlfriend. I'm I say uh, skip the middleman and just go straight to the girlfriend. I yeah. said different things from Bobby. Can she yeah, fight though? Can she? Fight? I don't. I don't know. Like Can the girlfriend fight? is almost like, is it really her? I don't she think she has exactly, exactly like. If he's having relations with other girls outside of a relationship, he's probably talking to other girls too. You so. know he's she talking to other girls. She deserves to know. Tell her, but figure mm. out if she can fight first. I disagree with the both of you. Oh, um, <laughs> um, I wouldn't text either one of them. I would move on with my life. Um, Going on is hard. It is very hard, <laughs> but, but I, I have come into this new aura of myself where I feel like 
these people don't care. They didn't care to, you know, consider your feelings when they hurt you in the beginning. Yeah. So why would they care now? Like when you text that guy, he gonna look, I'm gonna tell you exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna look at that message. He's gonna like, <laughs> he's gonna toss his phone to the side. I have done that. I literally, when things were already considered to be over, but we never talked about it. But you know, we know there's nothing, there's no coming back from this. Yeah. Go ahead and text my little message or whatever. And you know what I got back in response? K? No, not even a K. Okay. I got worse than a K. Red? No, worse than a red. I feel like this is worse. He said, I'm not interested in having this back and forth. <laughs> and that really, really hurt my feelings, bro. Yeah. Because I was like, yeah. That's worse than reading it and not responding. Because like, I feel like when people read and don't respond, they want you to see they read. Mm -hmm. And when someone says K, they want you to re react. This dude literally in that sentence said, Basically, I want nothing to do with you anymore. I mean, everything was his fault anyway. Damn. But in that moment, he was like, I'm not interested in having this bag anymore. And that's when you power. walk away. Um, We're going to do one more question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's this one? Oh this my is God. fun. I enjoy this. You look up and ask for a friend. We got questions, <laughs> man. Oh, this is hard. Yeah, I know. Okay. That's why I skipped it. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm a third year uni student and Oh, you're from London? Yeah, it gotta be. Like. In first year, I told a guy friend that I had feelings for him. Hmm. He brushed it off and showed no interest, jerk. Fast forward to second year, which was last year, we didn't communicate until around October. Wow. He then began telling me that he has feelings for me and that he thinks we should be together. Oh, now he has feelings? However, <laughs> I told him my feelings had sailed off on a boat months ago. Boom! <laughs> Let me How? Drop. Let me drop it. <laughs> <laughs> we remain in contact and have been communicating, and I've been making it clear that I didn't want to be in a relationship, but two days ago, he asked me to be his girlfriend, and I said yes. What? what? Sis! <laughs> Sis! So essentially, she wanted him the what? whole time, but she was trying to like be like, no... I don't care about but, you no more. But I honestly think I said yes out of pity. Um, He's a nice guy, but I'm really not into him anymore. Yeah. I said yes, hoping that the feelings I had for him would develop again. Why? Am I you wrong? Want a boyfriend? And you're what? Oh, am, am I, I wrong? Am I wrong? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't need a man. You don't need no man. Like, what she knows you? that. She knows that she don't need no man. She says she said out of pity, bro. You just gonna hurt him in the end of the day, bro. Yeah. That's not nice. Huh? Take right. some take some free drinks while you're there though. Get the free food and then dip out some of them. Well, Get as much free stuff as you No, I'm kidding, no, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry, I just mm. Now you have a boyfriend. <laughs> um, I really think you should just go back to not having a boyfriend. Because it doesn't sound like those feelings you have for him are there. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna really charge it to charge it to him. I'm gonna charge it to the game. That when you said you had feelings for him, he said he didn't have feelings for you. It's weird how feelings work, you know? Yeah. Sometimes people have them, sometimes people don't. Or sometimes they just disappear. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> they disappear, sometimes they develop. Mm hmm But my number one dating rule for you, for him, like people that like you. Just like start there. Yes. There's, that's just the basis. Like people that like you. But and actually like them. Like you don't people like them? that like you. That's number one. And then after that, if people are showing you effort, if people are taking initiative, and if people are being consistent with effort and being initiative, or taking initiative, then go from there. Until you get all of that, until you have somebody that you like, that is showing you effort, and that's taking initiative, and doing it consistently, be zero. So break up with him. Yeah, it sounds like you already answered your own question. Like, why are you with No, him? that part. Yeah. You know, there's nothing to be with him for. You don't like him. <laughs> you used to like him. No, but actually, no. I've been in predicaments where it's like, if the guy seems like really nice and just like a good person and they're now showing interest in me, I'll really try to like them because it's like, this is a good person. Why don't I like him? Yeah. So I'm like, I understand. But I had to, after a while, I was just like, I don't like this person. Period. Like, that's it. You don't like them. So you... You're only leading them on, so. See me? Got to I'm not finna do anything I don't want to do, so I would have said no to begin with. Mm. But now that you didn't say no, you gotta break up with him. Break up with him, like <laughs> that's not. Just break up with him because like 
you're i really think you're gonna hurt him in the end i know i know as females we deal with very horrible guys yeah but some, some are guys good. actually have feelings too yeah and i feel like you know not every i mean it's not every day real let give up got you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's not every day yeah but you know, I think spare his feelings and while it's still early, get out of the relationship. Yeah. And I think the nicest and easiest way to go about this is to tell him that you just feel it's best that you guys go back to being friends. Mm. And that you feel like you may have jumped into this a little too, too soon. Too soon. Yeah. Don't lead him on and say like we can we can revisit this, you know, relationship Be direct. thing. Just just say like I honestly feel more comfortable having you as my friend. Yeah. And he can take that however he wants. I mean, he's not going to talk to you after that. So that's good. That's what you want. <laughs> he can take that however he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this very first mukbang ever. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like mukbangs, if you like advice, if yes. you like Cindy, if you like Chizzy, if you <laughs> like Nigerian, <laughs> if you like Evo. Yeah. <laughs> or Yoruba, or Ghanaians, or everyone. Because at the end of the day, one Africa, we yeah. all want. No, at the end of the day, we're all black. Africa. True. We are all black. We are all black. That's true. True. But shout out to Nigeria though. Period. That's that. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, What's your name again? You don't even remember your Nigerian it's okay. name? It's okay. Ifoma. Ifoma. There we go. Ifoma. Ifoma. Leave us a comment down below and yes. let us know, number one. What do you get when you go to Chipotle? Yes. Not free birds, not adoba, we didn't ask Q -doba no. or mo. She said adoba or Q-doba. <laughs> Chipotle. What Chipotle. do you get when you go to Chipotle? Mm -hmm. Chipotle. Chipotle. Two. <laughs> Tell us about like a bad date experience. Please. Yes. We want to know. We want to be all up in your business. Yep, yep. So, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, follow Cindy, follow Chizzy. Please do. Subscribe to them. Yes, yes. Until next time. Stay beautiful. I love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye.